Well, Mr. Terrier, I came here today to tell you a story about suffering, and it just so happens to be true. You see, Mr. Terrier, I've had a life born of hardship. My grandfather died in jail after accepting blame for something that was not entirely his fault. My father was torn apart by our town, suffering in silence. When my father was young, he once vowed to never harm another person after almost being the cause of someone else's death. Then he met my mother, Allie, who chose him against the wishes of friends, and Matthew Pitt, who had once wished to be her husband. That was when it really started. Matthew Pitt and his family had power over the town, so the town turned against us at his wishes, accusing us of all crimes. I'll say this once, and not to demean all the good they have tried to do for you, but I found out even before my father's death that no man would do injury to you without doing injury to themselves. My scorn was for every man or woman who had ever tripled my parents down, and no scorn burned brighter. Matthew Pitt and the others took advantage of my father's submissiveness, but I chose to end our suffering. I chose not to fall, but to rise and fight. At least I'm not gutless. At least I fight back. But you, everyone still thinks you done it. Do you really think the truth matters? They care nothing about you. They would kill you. He stopped and waited, smiling at me. I pretended I didn't see him. I did not run to catch up. And for the first time, I never took his offered hand. If you had never saved him, none of this would have ever happened. You see, Mr. Terrier, I have had a life of hardship. My grandfather died in jail after having taken the blame- <laughs> Okay, one second. You're so close to my face. You said you were going to see my face. No, you honestly can't. You can't. I'll show you afterwards. Kayla, don't, don't press play. I want to I wanna just practice the line. Don't press play. Okay. I'll say this once. I can't, I can't do this. You are my 